This is my ICS3U traffic light project. The brains of this project is the Arduino Uno. This is a small microcontroller that can send simple tasks to any of its output pins using code sent over USB. The brains of this microcontroller is the big chip here, which is called the ATmega328. The smaller chip over here is what converts USB to serial. It takes the code sent from the computer to the USB type A port on the Arduino and converts it into serial so that the ATmega can interpret it and send instructions to the hardware interfaces on the microcontroller. The actual traffic light that the Arduino interfaces with is made from a PCB designed by one of RHDC's own. It is a simple design with spots for three LEDs sharing a common ground, a 470 ohm resistor, and a four pin angled header. By using the clear silk screening on the PCB, it is pretty easy for one to quickly and efficiently solder up the components needed for this project. Now I will be getting into some of the things that I added to this project in my final code. I decided that simply making the base traffic light wasn't good enough, so I added a few features that made it into a smart traffic light that I think the real world would really benefit from. Firstly, I added a button that could be added underneath the road and that senses when cars are coming up to the light. This saves electricity and time because the light remains dormant until needed, meaning pedestrians can cross as needed. Here's the code required to make this function work. Firstly, define the pin that the Arduino is going to read the button input from and set it as an input. Secondly, using that input, code the light so it only activates when it senses a button press. Here's what that looks like in real life. So the traffic light is dormant at red until it senses a button press and then the light changes. The other feature I added was a photoresistor paired with a liquid crystal display in order to read if it is day or night, display what the state was, and change the timing of the light accordingly. This applies to real life because adding more delay on the light would help prevent accidents as it forces people to think more. This is the code used to do all this. Firstly, we set some variables and add in the liquid crystal library from Arduino. This just makes it so one can interact with the display more easily. Secondly, we read the input from a photoresistor in order to get a sense of the amount of light outside. The way the photoresistor works is that the more light there is, the less resistance it gives. We can read this and assign a value to the amount of light we want to read until a certain bit of code activates. I chose values above and below 500. Pair all of this together and what we get is a smart traffic light that can be implemented into the real world and could actually serve to save lives. Here is a quick demonstration of the entire project in action. So as you can see, it detects light, we can click the button and we can see that the timing is normal on a traffic light. But now, by putting our finger over the photoresistor, you can see that darkness is detected on the LCD screen, and clicking the button will now slow down the timing. And that is the whole project. Thank you for watching.